Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? <laughs> Today is Groundhog Day, but our hope is that things don't turn out quite the way they did in the 1993 movie starring Bill Murray. This year, the Groundhog says six more weeks of winter, which is welcome news for snow enthusiasts, less appealing for the snowbirds. Yeah, the Groundhog saw his shadow today, but beyond weather predictions, what do we really know about groundhogs? News Center Maine's Carly Dion spoke with a researcher who's been studying them for more than 20 years. No self-respecting Maine woodchuck is up above ground on Groundhog Day. When they're not out predicting six more weeks of winter or in early spring, are woodchucks really chucking wood? I've never seen it myself. Doug Hitchcock is a naturalist for Maine Audubon. He spends some of his time at the Gilsland Farm Audubon Center in Falmouth. It's 65 acres of this wildlife sanctuary that is essentially one exit outside of Portland. This sanctuary is where University of Southern Maine biology professor Christine Mayer has studied groundhogs for more than 20 years. She says like some bears, they hibernate through the winter. Once they emerge in late February, it's breeding season and pups are born about a month later. Um, a lot of people would say that they'd all disperse in their first year, that first summer after they're born, they all leave home, but about half of the woodchucks don't. Mayor says some of them never leave home. So why do they tend to stay? Well, like many kids still living with mom and dad in their 20s. Because Gilsland Farm is a really nice place to live. Um, that's why they stay home. Then from March to September, it's bulking season when Mayor says some can actually double their weight. And if you like groundhogs, just not when they invade your backyard, Mayor suggests fencing off. Um, the garden so they can't get at it as easily or just harassing them, um, chasing them away um, when when you see them out there. But there's one thing you definitely shouldn't do. Don't try to trap and relocate a groundhog from your backyard elsewhere. Unfortunately, they, they have a very low uh, survival rate after uh, translocation. Another solution, finding a way to coexist. The more time you spend watching them, the more you can appreciate them. So if you spent any time today feeling mad at a groundhog, here's a quick reality check. It's Maine. We're going to have way more than six weeks of winter. <laughs> Carly Dion, New Center, Maine. Okay, here's what I learned, that woodchucks and groundhogs are the same thing. We should start seeing woodchucks or groundhogs pop up in another three weeks or so, which is always a sure sign spring is on the way.